everyone welcome you all to nims studio today we are doing yarn and its construction how does it take place i will explain it to you this is lesson number 23 of home science so dear learners let's start with the basic introduction of yarn the basic unit of fabric is fiber and these fibers are either stable or filament so these are of two kinds then the treatment given to a fiber before it can be made into a fabric let's discuss yarn yarn is an assemblage of fabrics twisted together so when there are slim yarns they are twisted together to make different kind of fabrics and these fibers are twisted both in staple and filament fibers are used to make yarn friends yarn making and construction the process of making yarn from fiber is called spinning this is the sign of spinning staple fibers make spun yarn and filament fibers make filament yarns yarn from staple fibers what are they let's discuss a bundle of fibers is taken cleaned and straightened then fibers are pulled out 
and drawn a twist is given to hold them together this process is called mechanical spinning it is done by a person for natural fibers like cotton and wool yarn from filament fibers spinner in it the process of spinner it is done from a tool like a shower the figure of the tool is like shower it has small holes in it and through it the yarn small fiber comes out and the yarn is made as you see in the given picture i will discuss more so yarn from filament fibers a spinning solution of the raw material is made and passed through the holes of spinner it it looks like a bathroom shower as i told you before so the solutions solidifies into thread like form called the filament fiber these filament fibers are twisted together to form a strong and a fine yarn so dear friends blends what is it this is the sign of blends do you know what are terricot and cot's wool i will tell you these mixed fabrics are made from more than one type of fiber during spinning of yarn the blend becomes stronger for example if there was no blend in our clothes they would tear and lose its shine so blending 
makes the cloth better. Blended yarn. What are the commonly available blended fabrics? Fabric and its blended composition. What are the compositions that are blended? For example, mixing cotton, and terrilane and different kinds of fabrics. So, terricot is the mixture of terrilane and cotton. Then cot's wool is cotton and wool. And in terry wool, Terrilane and wool is mixed. In cotton and silk, cotton plus silk, they both are added, you know, which makes sarees, suits. And wool acrylic is wool plus acrylic. So, cotton and silk makes a great combination for sarees. It makes her smoother and softer. Wool and eclairic makes are blended together and it makes good shirts. are made for shirts, tops, formal wear, made from wool and eclairic. What are the properties of yarn? Let me explain you. So the two important Properties of yarn is that it's fine, it's fineness, and the amount of twists. The more the twist, the more it gets smoother and stronger. These two properties of yarn are related to each other. Welcome back. Continuing the properties of yarn. So the more the twists are there in yarn, the finer and the smoother and stronger it is. If a yarn is highly twisted, 
it gives a crinkled effect to the fabric. Or crepe, that crepe yarns that are used for making for making saris and night suits, which are very smooth and slippery, and also used for making. Dupattas. And these yarns have more twists that makes the dupattas beautiful. So friends, there are different types of yarns. The first type is simple yarn, where there are simple twists. Then there is complex and novelty yarn with new loops, twists, thick and thin are there. In textured yarns, there are different textures made yarns where for example you see different textures under your jeans so these are textures let's learn more about simple yarns they are smooth and they have uniformity An evenly twisted yarn. It is called simple yarn. Commonly used for making fabric like poplin that are used for your cleaning your specs and cambric. Simple ply yarn has two or more singles evenly twisted. Twisting two simple yarns together makes a ply yarn. Types of simple yarns like ply yarn with two singles is called two ply, ply yarn with three singles is called three ply, and ply yarn with four singles is called four ply. The more there are plies, it makes the cloth bulky and shiny. Types of simple yarns. There are different types so simple cord yarn is made of two or more ply yarns that are used for drying your clothes, also called rassi or rope.
if there was only single ply iron, it would break and tear apart. So there should be more ply yarns mixed to make simple cord yarn. Now comes complex or novelty yarns. So this is uneven yarns, thick, or thin, or curly, has loops, twists, and even differently colored areas along their length. Due to this fancy look, this type of yarn is used to add interesting effects in the fabrics. They make the clothes attractive with new and different designs. Single complex yarn. This yarn is unevenly twisted to make it thick or thin in places. This type of yarn is found in khadi fabric. Complex ply. Two or more complex yarns twisted around each other to form loops, curls, and knots to create fancy effects. Many knitting yarns, complex ply yarns. They are knitted in different styles and different textures, which make it look fancy and attractive. Core yarn. What is that? So, for example, pull out the elastic from one of your old socks. You will see that the elastic is wrapped by another yarn of cotton or nylon. You will observe that there are different cotton or nylons added to it or blended to it. Try this activity. There are different types of yarns. Slub. Slub yarn with thick and thin places. making your cloth look textured and different. Sipra or Gimp. It is combination of soft, thick yarns twisted with fine hard yarns.
baul bausel bausel is two different yarns fed into loom at different speeds for a varied effect for new fashion trends loop stiff fibers from loops which spring out the core of yarn to make it look different and attractive snarl very highly twisted yarn they're highly twisted and you feel the twists when you touch this fabric kinop is ground yarn which is held under tension as loops are built up at fast speed and this is known as loop chenail is a woven cut fabric yarn all of these type of yarns are used for new fancy clothes what are textured yarns filament yarns are textured to look denser become bulky and more stretchable due to texturing spaces are created between yarn it's not closed it has little spaces in it this helps the fabric to breathe better become more absorbent and comfortable especially in summers you don't feel hot in summers these are the different kind of yarns coiled yarn as you see in the picture then there is rounded crimped yarn as you see here in the picture then there is curled yarn then there is high bulk stretched and relax relaxed yarn then there is peaked crimped yarn thread and yarn let me explain you thread and yarn are similar but not same
they look very similar but they are not same they are different thread is made from yarn a yarn is processed to make thread a thread is a ply yarn so as you see when you're stitching it's hard to break it is very hard because it has ply yarn processed it is finer and more stronger the lesson that we have discussed now you understood thank you